I am Anil Kumar and here is a test question on exploring roots of quadratic equations. The question here is, find the quadratic equation whose roots are the squares of the reciprocal of the roots of x square plus 6x minus 2 equals to 0. So let us write down the sum and product of roots of the given equation and then we will find the new equation, right? So we are given equation x square plus 6x minus 2 equals to 0. Here, sum of roots, let us say x1 and x2 are the roots. In that case, sum of roots x1 plus x2 is equal to minus b by a, that is minus 6, and product of roots x1 times x2 is equals to c by a, and c is minus 2 for us. So that is what we can write straight away from the equation. Now, we need to find another quality equation whose roots are squares of the reciprocal of the roots of this equation, right? So in general, the formula which we have used here is kind of like this. x squared minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots. equals to 0, right? So that is what we have used and when we are saying we need to find a new equation, then we need to really find sum of roots and product of roots of the new equation, right? Let us see how are they related. It says find quadratic equation whose roots are the squares of the reciprocal of this root. So that means for the new equation the roots should be what? It should be squares of the reciprocal. That means reciprocal will be 1 over x1 squared. You see that? So those will be the roots. So if x1 and x2 are the roots for this equation, then squares of reciprocal will be these roots. So these are the roots of our new equation which we need to find. To find the equation, we need to find their sum and product. That's a strategy, right? Now, product is kind of simpler. If I multiply these, what do I get? So, product will be 1 over, I could write this as x1 square, right? Because 1 square is 1, times 1 over x2 square. Or, we could say 1 over x1 x2 whole square. Now we know x1 times x2 is minus 2, so we could write this as 1 over minus 2 whole square, which is 1 over 4. So product of the new roots is 1 over 4. How about the sum of these roots? So to find the sum, what we can do is, we can add 1 over x1 square with 1 over x2 square. These are the roots, right? Now when you add it, we will have to take common denominator. So the common denominator is x1 square times x2 square and then you get x2 square plus x1 square. Now x1, x2 whole square we know is minus 2. But numerator, how can we write this in terms of sum and product? Well, let us try to make it a perfect square, right? So to make it a perfect square, what we can do is, we can add and subtract 2ab, right? Which is 2 times x1, x2 minus 2 times x1, x2. This is what we can do, right? And denominator for us is x1, x2 whole square, right? Right. Now here, we could now write this first three terms as x1 plus x2 whole square and then we have 2 times x1 x2 and the denominator is x1 x2 whole square. x1 plus x2 is known to us as minus 6 so we can write here minus 6 whole square minus 2 times x1 x2 is minus 2 divided by x1 x2 whole square which is minus 2 whole square. Correct? 
Now, what do we get? Minus 6 whole square, we can use a calculator here. So, minus 6 whole square is 36. Let's use calculator. Within brackets, kind of important. Within brackets, minus 6 whole square. Then we have minus 2 times within brackets minus 2. That is equal to 40 divided by minus 2 whole square, which is 4, right? So we can divide this by 4, and that gives us 10. So what we found here is that the sum is equal to 10. Is it okay? So sum is 10. Now, once we know sum and product of the roots of the new equation, we can write down our answer, and the answer will be x squared minus sum of roots, sum is 10, so it will be minus 10x, plus product of roots, product of roots is 1 over 4, so plus 1 over 4 equals to 0, right? So that becomes our answer. We could actually write the answer in this form, but it is better to write it in standard form without fractions. In that case, let us multiply every term by 4, then we get this equation as 4x square minus 40x plus 1 equals to 0. So that becomes the solution for us for the given question, right? Well, you can always verify and figure out what are the roots of this equation and what are the roots of the other equation and are they really related with what we wanted. Squares of reciprocals, right? I hope the method shown here helps you to understand the process of solving such questions. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.